Hey, what's up? This is Doug with Design 8 Studio. And recently, Ryan posted a possible uh, design for a CNC cut torsion box based table for cutting full sheets with a low rider CNC. And he's got a lot on him right now. And so he's not had a chance to flesh out that design yet. And I wanted to learn how to do parametric driven uh, patterns in Fusion 360. And one of our fellow V1E makers sent me their SketchUp file of a uh, torsion box based full sheet capacity CNC table for the low rider and asked me if I would work on trying to flesh that out. And so I switched it over to Fusion 360 and set about trying to figure out what would work best. And in the midst of that, one of the things that you have to do is to figure out whether or not your design is going to succeed as far as the cross lap joints that make the torsion box go together. One of the questions that I had not having a lot of woodworking experience at all and not ever having made any cross lap joints of my own was, is there supposed to be an allowance, a, a tolerance in which you cut the notches uh, some little tiny bit wider than the thickness of the plywood or do you go for the exact thickness? And in my research, I found that the best fit is to go for the exact thickness, what uh, one uh, woodworker called line to line. And so the goal is to have the height of the notch be exactly half the height of the wood on both the pieces that are to go together and the width of the notch to exactly match the width of the plywood that is intended to go together. And so I ran some tests and realized I needed to adjust the steps Per millimeter, the X and Y steps per millimeter on my low rider to get really good dimensional accuracy. And I found a great calculator on the Teaching Tech uh, calibration website. I'll put a link in the description. And so I did a couple of tests, did the M92 command to adjust the steps per millimeter for my steppers on the Y axis and X axis. Got really good dimensional accuracy on my low rider and then I drew up a test to use this little scrap of plywood as a test. I would mention that uh, I'm going to make some DXF cut plans available for the table that I've created but regardless of whether I or you wind up cutting a table design coming from Ryan versus one of your own or one of mine you're going to need to make sure that you use calipers to carefully measure the thickness of the plywood that you're using for your torsion box. And that thickness needs to be the number that goes in for the notch width for your torsion box uh, ribs and spars. And so let me show you some screenshots real quick of the torsion box that I have planned. And in specific, mine is going to be based on using uh, metal struts, also known as unistrut or super strut, for uh, the part that the low rider rides on, and that simplifies the project. But if you want to make something out of wood instead, it would be a different cut plan. But I'll I'll endeavor to make those cut plans available for the most common thicknesses of plywood which I think is 21 30 seconds, 23 30 seconds, and actual full three-quarter inch. I've actually had some plywood also that was ostensibly three-quarter, but was actually thicker than three-quarters of an inch. So there's a lot of variation out there, and whatever plywood you get a hold to, you're going to need to really uh, measure the thickness of your plywood very carefully and use that exact measurement in the parameters of the Fusion 360 file, or if my DXF cut plan that you're using does not exactly match the, the thickness of your plywood, you'll need to modify it with a, like a 2D vector illustration editing program, or have me or someone modify 
the DXF cut plan so the notch width exactly matches the thickness of the plywood. Here you see me getting the cut test parts freed out of the larger piece of plywood and wow they went together so perfectly. I used a hammer to drive them home and I'm telling you the friction block on this is so good that it, I can't even imagine any need of glue on this. The, the torsion box would be so amazing in its strength. And uh, I would imagine, unless you plan on taking it apart later, you'll want to use glue. And at that point, the strength of it will just be beyond description. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal friction fit on a cross lap joint. Uh, this is Doug Joseph with Design 8 Studio, and if you like our content, please click like and consider clicking subscribe. And until the next video, I wish you happy making.